संजय सर यस सर आई एम मेकिंग विद होस्ट प्लीज स्टार्ट रिकॉर्डिंग वंस द सेशन विल स्टार्ट एंड रिकॉर्डिंग ऑन क्लाउड ओके ओके सो आई हैव टू रिकॉर्ड ऑन क्लाउड यस सर ओके 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 आई एम मेकिंग विद होस्ट नाउ यस सर यस morning doctor punya uh, mulki we will begin in a short while Dr. Punia, ma'am, ma'am, can you hear us? Arjun sir can you hear me 
Yes, sir. You are audible. Yes, sir. You are audible. Okay, sir. Doctor Punya, ma'am, can you hear us? Ma'am, we'll begin in some time. Students are still. Ma'am, we can't hear you. Please unmute yourself. I have. Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Good morning, Jado sir. Good morning, sir. Sir, will principal madam be joining us? Uh, we have to call principal ma'am. We have to ask. Oh, oh okay. Oh, okay. Yes, Jada sir, I spoke to ma'am. Uh, she has a meeting in college. Okay, okay. Then we should start now. So, so when do we start, sir? We have already more than 400 participants. 400. Yes, we can start now, sir. We can start? Yes, yes. Okay. Good morning, dear friends and uh, students. Today, today is World International Drug Abuse Day. So I'll give you a bit of history. On 7th December 1987, the General Assembly of the United Nations decided to observe 26th June as the International Day Against Drug Abuse and Illicit Trafficking. As an expression of its determination to strengthen action and cooperation to achieve the goal of an international society free of drug abuse. In the last one decade, we have data from NCB, National Narcotics Bureau, that there is 30% increase of drug usage amongst Indians. Today, to give us more enlightenment on drug abuse, we have with us Dr. Punya Mulki. Dr. Punya Mulki is a psychiatrist. And I'll give you a brief introduction about Dr. Punya Mulki. She is a consultant psychiatrist practicing in the western suburbs of Mumbai. She has done her MBBS from Perna Medical College in Navi, Mumbai, and has completed her MD in psychiatry from the prestigious Institute of Mental Health, Chennai. She was awarded the gold medal in psychiatry by the Honorable Vice President, Dr. Venkaya Naidu. She also holds a degree of diplomat of National Board in Psychiatry. She has also been trained in Rational Emotive Behavioral Therapy from Albert Ellis Institute Affiliated Center. She is currently working in Bharatiya Arogya Nidhi Hospital in Juhu and has a clinic in Andheri West. In the past, she has worked in various government institutes. She has worked for two years at the Drug Treatment Clinic 
Bhardawadi Andheri, which is a project by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and Government of India. She has also presented many research papers in state and national conferences and has won awards for the same. She has participated in many awareness activities regarding de addiction and mental health. She's been a member of Bombay Psychiatric Society and Indian Medical Association. She was interviewed on Channel Win, where she spoke about postpartum depression. Her ideas of interest include neuropsychiatry, de addiction, bipolar disorders, and women's mental health. With this brief introduction, we all request Dr. Punya Mulki to take over the session. Ma'am, you can share the screen. One second. Hello? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. Just a second. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Punya ma'am, please unmute yourself. Punya ma'am, please unmute yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is the screen? No, ma'am. It is still buffering. It's still buffering. Just yeah. a second. Should I leave and join again? Yeah, one second. I can see you, but I'm unable to share. I am unable to share anything. Yes. Uh, Arjun, sir, Akshay, sir, may please help me. What do we do? Shall I make, ma'am? Uh, Should I leave the meeting sir, and join? bandwidth again? from madam side. Sorry? Oh. Low bandwidth from your side. Low Network. bandwidth. Ma'am, oh. it seems you have an internet issue. Is it? Okay, ma'am, uh, uh, if possible, can you send the P uh, PPT to, to us and then we'll share? Uh, just a second. Let me, let me fix this issue. I'll just probably be able to do it. Yeah. Just give me two minutes.
सर मैडम से पीपीटी रोल उन्हें मैडम से पीपीटी लेके शेयर करेंगे हाँ हा, वही बोला मैंने मैडम को तो मैडम बोली दो मिनट दो मिनट Yeah, ma'am. Can you hear yes, us? Yes, I can hear you. I can hear you. Yes, ma'am. You can share the screen because I made you the co-host. Okay. Is the share visible? Yeah, it's still buffering, ma'am. Oh, I've shifted the net now. Is it still not visible? Just a second. Is it now visible? No, ma'am. No. I'll have to send it to one. Ma'am, uh, what you can do is you can switch uh, switch off the camera first and then share the content. I'll switch off the camera first. And then you share the content. Yeah. Okay. Or the best thing, ma'am, is you can share the PPT with us. We'll share it on your behalf. Okay. Yeah. Why is it not sharing, ma'am? While you're sharing, uh, choose the first option. Just a second. I am. Ma'am, probably your net connection has issues.
Ma'am, can you share the screen now? Dr. Punya. Uh, one second, Dr. Sanjay, I'm trying to share the screen. Just give me a minute. Ma'am, it is still the same. You can share the PPT with us. We will flash it on the screen and then you can speak.
So I will share it to you by a. Uh, I share it to you. Okay. I will send it on WhatsApp. I understand. I understand. Just give me a minute. I'm done. I just share it. Yes. 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 Punya, ma'am, you can stop sharing. Just a second. Now you can switch on your camera. Share yeah. the PPT with us. I will just give me a minute. I'll share the PPT with you so that uh, you can share it. Right? Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah, yes, ma'am. We've got your PPT. You've got. We we'll share it on the screen now. Yes, yeah. please, please. Uh, Arjun sir, did, did you receive the PPT? Yes, sir. I'm downloading the PPT. Okay, okay, sir. So, ma'am, we can begin in thirty seconds. We yeah. have the PPT with us. Okay. Fine. So. So sorry for the technical glitch, and uh, so thank you so much, uh, Dr. Sanjay and the entire team of Thakur College for inviting me yet again for this lecture. And uh, let's hope we make up for all the lost time. Okay, so uh, once the PPT starts sharing, uh, we'll start. But uh, before that, uh, I would just like to tell you what we are going to talk about. We are going to be talking about drug abuse. about addiction yes, yes we are going to be talking about drug abuse we are going to be talking about addiction and we are going to be talking about uh, okay so how do i change the screen hello yeah how do i you, change the screen you can tell us ma'am okay next you, you i'll can just tell us ma'am next okay so yeah so uh, like i said we are going to be talking about uh, drug abuse we are going to be talking about addiction and how you have to try and stay away from it i uh, was made to believe that a majority of people uh, in the audience are degree college students yes ma'am yes 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 okay fantastic so the next one minute sir yes the next slide please Uh, Dr. Arjun, it would help if you would uh, put it on the uh, slideshow mode. Yes, thank you. So, before that, what are addictive substances? We are going to be talking about drugs, like I said. So, what, according to y'all or anybody in the audience, can say what are addictive substances? Mobile phones. Okay, very good. very unexpected but very good answer anybody else game okay online gaming oh nice very nice okay. good we are going to be talking about all that but i want you to understand how it works first so next 
Okay. So, uh, addictive substances are also called as drugs. Okay. So, drugs, drug is any substance except for food or water, which is when taken into the body, it will change the body's function physically or psychologically. That is what is a drug. It may be legal, it may be illegal. So, they are addictive substances, psychoactive substances. Okay. So, next. Yeah. So, uh, what do these substances act on? Next. So, they basically have an effect on the brain. But even on your brain, they have an effect on your consciousness, your thinking, your memory, your mood, and a lot of other things, which we'll see gradually. Next. Next. Next and next. Yes. So, like I said, uh, what do these drugs do? They will increase or decrease your flow of thought. It can, some of them can make you think a lot. Some of them can make you like very dull. Some make you drowsy. Some make you quite alert. Some of them will make you very disinhibited. Like, you know, you've seen people extremely disinhibited. How huh? this, not a care in the world. That is disinhibited behavior, which can come by drugs. And of course, the mood, it plays a very important role on the mood. The mood is extremely happy or extremely sad extremes of mood. So this is how they affect basic functions. So next. Yeah. So uh, an addictive substance acts on the brain, but, but not everything that will act on your brain can cause addiction. The substance uh, or anything, even the mobile, the gaming, the internet that you all are talking about, they have to act on a particular set of neurons in the brain. And that will make the person think that, Are mujhe aur chahiye, Are mujhe aur chahiye. I want this thing again, I want this thing again. So that is the drug seeking behavior. Okay. So uh, next. So there are many things that act on the brain. There are, uh, I mean, people say that veggies are good for you, fruits are good for you. But you don't get addicted to them, right? Like, is anybody really addicted to palak or some kind of a karela? No. It has to act on a particular, particular system of the brain. Next. This is the reward pathway. So when the substance acts on the reward pathway, you feel like, you know, taking that thing again and again. So that is what is a, a addictive substance. Next. Hmm. So, uh, we've seen that all of them act on the brain in a similar manner. I mean, all of them act on a particular area of the brain, but are all of them similar? This is a question. Are all of them similar? No, ma'am. Okay. In what way are they different? Okay. No, no, I'm getting answers. Yes and no. Dopamine. Very good. That is how they're similar. But what is the difference in the major drugs? Let's see. Next. They're classified basically as depressants, stimulants and hallucinogens. Okay. So next. Yeah. So depressant. Depressant is not something that gives you depression, but it is something that uh, depresses your nervous system, your brain. So it will decrease your alertness. It will make you slow. It will not give you so much of an energy that will depress you. So examples are opioids, alcohol, painkillers, sedatives. Okay, next. Yeah, so these are examples. Alcohol, the biggest example of a nervous system depressant. The painkillers that you use, sedatives, uh, opioids. Opioid is an example here. Next. So if a depressant reduces the alertness of the nervous system, a stimulant increases the alertness of the nervous system. So that is stimulated, stimulates you a lot. So examples of stimulants are, um, yeah, that is caffeine, nicotine and amphetamine. So yeah, I've got a comment saying that they differ in chemical composition, but all of them release dopamine. Absolutely right. But there is also a difference in them, which we will see later on. Okay. So uh, stimulants are caffeine, nicotine, amphetamines. Next. Yeah. So this is cocaine. Uh, there is uh, meth and nicotine also. Next. 
so uh, hallucinogens are uh, drugs that cause hallucinations you know that will alter your reality you see things which are not there you hear things which are uh, not there so that is hallucinations jo cheeze nahi hai wo dikhai deti hai your reality is uh, distorted uh, one major example is lsd lsd is uh, a hallucinogen it's like a paper which when kept on the tongue it makes you hallucinate okay next hmm. so uh, we've seen about the major drugs like uh, uh, the the basic classification but uh, like somebody has said that they all uh, you know probably release okay they all probably release uh, dopamine but but the differences lie in their uh, in the effect that they have on the body so uh, highs what is high what is high i've written intoxication but i want to hear from you what is a high when uh, when the brain's capacity to comprehend things decreases to the level where you do things that you're not supposed to okay okay high. okay good good anybody else highs and lows what what is the way that you perceive it okay the Somebody, marriage sorry marriage okay okay so uh, highs high basically means that the the drug is at a peak in your body it's at the highest level so you are extremely intoxicated you uh, you must be hearing people say that oh you are extremely high you seem high you look high so that high is the person is extremely intoxicated the level of the drug in the body is at the height so he is intoxicated that is the high the low is after you stop it the drug is not going to stay in your body forever it is going to leave your body so the time that it leaves your body your body reacts your body withdraws your body shows withdrawal features so that is the lows so highs is in very layman terms you'll say chad gayi hai and lows is utar gayi hai so that is the highs and lows of it intoxication and withdrawal so now comes the important part that though all substances give a dopamine high the intoxication and withdrawal features of everything is different even the internet and the mobile and the gaming is quite different from other substances so that is the reason why we need to know the differences okay next uh, alcohol so first of all we come to alcohol punya ma'am please unmute yourself punya ma'am please unmute yourself yes yes uh can you hear me was the previous slide heard yeah, yes ma'am it was yes yes okay so we come to alcohol uh are highs and lows clear yes ma'am yes okay so coming to alcohol this is the commonest thing and you would have seen is there anybody in the audience out of the 387 people that i see has anybody never seen an intoxicated person i'm not getting any answer so i'm going to assume no is the answer and go ahead so uh, it is so common that almost everybody has seen them everybody has seen uh, people who are uh, intoxicated that's right somebody has told me we've seen them on highways that's right but uh, you've seen them on movies they're everywhere so how does an intoxicated person look there is confusion there is vomiting difficulty breathing very disinhibited not understanding what they are doing what they are not doing so that is the intoxicated part of it coming to the withdrawal part of it okay uh, when when the effect of the alcohol is gone you have what is very commonly known as a hangover i'm hungover people say so kya hota hai usme there is nausea there is vomiting headache the slightest sound and you withdraw the slightest noise and you get so affected so that is the withdrawal part of it so alcohol intoxication and withdrawal next these are again psychological withdrawal features uh, people who are withdrawing from alcohol are very jumpy very anxious irritable tired and fatigued next yes coming to cannabis okay so uh, I, i before talking about cannabis i want to know what you all know about cannabis 
and what are your views about cannabis okay uh, vomiting that is cannabis leads to vomiting okay and okay very good uh, i think uh, maish is a i think is a bsc student are you doing chemistry because you said it's made up of thc and cbd that's a good thing that's a good thing to know okay okay so <laughs> no okay weed medical properties pros outweigh the cons okay right so coming to cannabis so cannabis what you all are seeing here are uh, yes it's it's a type of a tall plant and from the different constituents different things are made so it's present as ganja it's present as bhang it's present as hashish the reason for showing you this is to make you understand that uh, there are different types of it and all of them are equally harmful we'll come to the pros and cons later but then i work with a lot of young people who come and tell me ki nahi ma'am hum to weed nahi karte hum wo dusra kala wala karte jo tobacco mein ye karte that has no side effects but this is weed this is charas or hashish what you are actually consuming is cannabis at the end of the day and the problems that it will cause you will eventually be there okay so ganja bhang and the the black thing that you can see is charas okay and this the, the part in the center is the pipe with which it is smoked next yeah so cannabis intoxication mm, it causes the symptoms seem very not so problematic but they can be quite if taken in very high quantities munchies is sweet cravings once they consume ganja they will want to have everything sweet so much of rasgulla so much of this and everything that is sweet your bp raises your heart raises your eyes are red you don't understand what you're doing there is anxiety there is there has been problems in seeing as well as walking for some people next that's right abdominal pain also okay withdrawal so withdrawal of cannabis causes the withdrawal is very gradual and uh, the thing with cannabis is it's a very different kind of a drug in that it's not a stimulant it's not a depressant it's not a hallucinogen i mean or it is a mix of all of them so uh, the effect that it causes on your body is very unpredictable for some people it's bad for some people it can be worse so in withdrawal you will see a lot of depression irritability anxiety insomnia flu like symptoms and weight changes also next so smoking helps you lose weight one lung at a time and i sincerely hope that none of you want to lose weight in this manner please try and lose it in more healthier ways okay next yes uh what are your views on opioids what do you know about opioids okay very good painkillers what else they are used as painkillers there are medical as well as non medical opioids which are used so medical opioids are uh, your tablets your cough syrups and uh, the non medical part of it is the street heroin the street brown sugar that you get and these are the techniques of consuming it next okay very good they have medical uses but excess of it is bad uh opioid intoxication is an emergency okay it is it is one of the few drugs which wherein people have to be rushed to the hospital in the icu in the emergency department in the casualty uh it can cause extremely slow, it can lead to have extremely slow heart beats your breathing will be slow you will be extremely drowsy your pupils will be very small they will not be dilated at all so that is the intoxication part of it and this is a medical emergency okay many of them have had to be rushed to the hospital when they have overdosed odied on uh, opioids next next slide please yes opioid withdrawal opioid withdrawal is in a very uh, simple term 
uh, all in your body like your body will give out water excessively you will be uh, there'll be a lot of watering of your eyes there'll be runny nose there'll be yawning there'll be diarrhea there'll be abdominal pains there'll be a lot of anxiety and unless you get your next shot of uh, opioid you will be very aggressive very irritable craving for the drug again and again so that is the withdrawal part of it next yes coming to these addictions that uh, you all were saying about what all can you all see in this what what kind of addictions can you all guess are behavioral addictions what we see here is gambling yes right gambling i can see that answer then there's internet addiction which is also common uh, twitter facebook insta eating very good eating addiction is also uh, been studied now then there is this lady who's about to fall is the shopping addiction so shopping internet gambling uh, eating social media they are all various different types of behavioral addictions okay what happens what happens in behavioral addictions can you all guess the withdrawal features what are the withdrawal features what are the lows what are the lows when you go okay very good restlessness i see an answer here depression very good what else boredom irritability yeah obviously you all know it better than me i think <laughs> i don't need to to proceed but still craving very good next next yes yes so why does it deserve a special mention because of the abundance of it okay now uh, behavioral addiction uh, addictions especially social media addictions are very tricky in terms that what we are doing right now also we are using the internet but who is to say that it's not excessive and it is excessive so what is normal or what is not normal is the dilemma here how much of it is normal how much of it is not normal is is what is the uh, main question here uh, i'm not done with the previous slide yes so uh, in terms of behavioral addictions only uh, dr arjun can you move apart up, up two slides okay i'll just continue so the withdrawal features which are seen in behavioral addictions are uh, irritability anger outbursts then there is fear of missing out a uh, lot of low mood because of disapproval did i get the proper number of likes did i get the improv did i not get the number of likes that i deserved is my picture could be better could i have used a better filter so these are the kind of problems that a lot of young people are coming up to me with because this is almost a sort of rejection for them so uh, that's the reason why social media is causing that amount of problem that there is rejection so next we come to uh, addiction which is uh i can't see the ppt but i'll still continue so next we are going to be speaking about addiction so uh, i want you all to understand what is drug use and what is addiction addiction is an illness addiction substance dependence is an illness okay it is an illness which uh, affects the brain obviously and the person will keep on having the feeling of taking the substance again and again and again in spite of it causing harm to them okay yes 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 so uh, yeah the next slide please minute yeah. madam yes so addiction we spoke about and i want you all to understand that drug use and addiction are not the same but it is a gateway to the same addiction is an illness okay and the person keeps on taking the same substance again and again despite the harmful consequence okay next yeah so uh, yeah so like any illness it has uh, some features okay there will be craving there will be inability craving is what is craving what people call talab mujhe talab lagi hai i have to take it i am craving for this desire it is a bit more than desire you can call it a very strong desire to take it in spite of knowing uh, the problems 
So craving for the substance, urge to take something, that's right. Inability to control the use. You're taking and you know, uh, you know that 30 ml, for an example, we'll use alcohol, craving for alcohol. 30 ml is what I've taken. I should not take any more. I cannot control the use. 30 ka, 60, 60 ka, 90, 90 ka, one quarter. That is inability to control the use. Okay. You speak to, when, when you speak to people who use alcohol, who use any kind of a substance, and I've worked with a lot of them, and definitely when you ask them, ki, aapko pata isse kya hota hai, aapko pata usse kya hota hai, ye kitna nuksan karta hai. People know things better than you because the net has everything. Ha, alcohol se, liver kharaab hota hai, pancreas bhi kharaab hota hai, cancer bhi hota hai, heart mein, heart mein problem hota hai, heart pair mein jinjinaat hoti hai. There are certain uh, things that I learned from them because I was not aware that even alcohol can cause that much harm. So, but the knowledge is not important. The idea is that they continue to use despite the harm. You know it is going to cause that amount of problem, but you cannot control yourself. Persistent use despite harm. This is a part of the illness. It's not a voluntary thing. They are unable to control it. Next. This is the lows that we had talked about, okay? So, withdrawal features. Withdrawal features of alcohol will be nausea, vomiting, headache, sensitivity to light, and everything. So, the withdrawal features are also an important sign of addiction. Next. What's tolerance? Is it like... Abhi, uh, ye speaker ko aur kitne time tolerate karna padega. Is it that kind of a tolerance that we are talking about? Yes, I'm seeing some answers. Okay, no, no, okay, 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 fine. Uh, suffer, somebody has written. Okay, so tolerance, matlab, to give you a very simple example, a person is taking, say, a 60, ml, a 60 ml or probably a peg of an alcohol. But, aaj 60 liya, kal 60 liya, perso 60 liya. Chote then he's like, aray yaar, 60 mein wo maza nahi aa raha hai. Chalo, thoda sa bada dete hai, 90 kar liya. Chalo, phir, uske next din, 60 mein to mo bhi nahi sukh raha hai. 90. 90, 90, 90, and then, aray yaar, wo maza nahi aa raha hai. 90 ka 180. So, if the previous substance stops giving you that same effect, you keep on increasing the quantity, which is what happens with drugs. Weed may be. Aray, ek aadha joint. Aaj usne bola to aadha joint. Aadha joint, aadha joint, aadha joint. Uske baad, aadhe mein wo maza nahi hai. To make it one, to make it two, is the tolerance. You don't get the same effect with the previous quantity, is what is tolerance. Next, is the neglect of pleasures, interests and behaviors. So, only one aim in life, like, like some people's one aim in life is now to just get out because they have been in lockdown for so long. That way, a person who is dependent on alcohol will have only one aim in life. Kaha se leke aau, kaise leke aau, paise kaise arrange karu, uh, kaam ke kaam mein rehte rehte kaise piyo, baaki logon ko ignore karke kaise piyo. So, no family, no friends, no work, sole, sole aim and sole goal will be the substance, which is alcohol, weed, or whatever it is. Next. Yeah. So before this, how does it start? Mm, yes. Yes. Uh, how else do you all think it can start? Okay. Okay. Okay, how does a substance use or how does drug use or start? That is my question to you all. Company influence, very good. And what else? Peer pressure, good. Friend circle, good. Anything else apart from peer pressure? Trying just for pleasure, very good. Good grief, okay. Movies, very good. So, okay, let's start then. Uh, Please, next. Yes. The number one thing is peer pressure. Peers ka to kaam rehta hai pressure karna, right? Please le le, ek le le, ek se kuch nahi hota hai. If you don't try, you're not cool enough. You're too chicken. No, peer pressure. A lot of people eventually start because of peer pressure. Next. 
curiosity uh, i've met a lot of young adults who been like they've started with the intention like ye kya hota hai ye kaise hota hai acha rehta hai kya i've seen this person behave this way i've seen that person behave that way chalo ek baar try kar lete hain ek baar to try karna hi chahiye that is that is how people have been going about it next is boredom like somebody said bored are bore ho raha hai kuch karna hai kuch naya karna hai boredom to relax and enjoy somebody has said depression also very good that is also one of the reasons next next please yes uh, some of them do it for rebellion rebellion against teachers rebellion against parents rebellion against just something to prove it ki bas i want to show it i am going to do it so that is the rebellion part of it next availability okay so this is also one reason ki mil raha hai to kyun nahi free mein mil raha hai to kyun nahi free mein rakha hua hai to kyun nahi that is availability like jo free mein mil raha hai le lo that kind of a thing so the availability of it and mind you not a lot of people have started for this reason because it was just available to them yes anger is also a right thing rebellion anger i think they go along together the last is social acceptance okay so uh, socially some people are socially accepted by their peers jab tu daru pee ke bhangra karta hai na tab to tu bada cool ho jata hai this is something that people say and you you just like it so much you want to keep on doing it again you want that acceptance from friends you are you are extremely fun when you drink you are so enjoyable when you are high so people feel that to be accepted socially they need to be uh, taking this drug they need to be under the influence because without it they are not as fun or they are not as cool okay next yeah why do people continue to use drugs why do they continue to use drugs or just very good what else addiction okay it leads to addiction but then what else habit okay good they get relief or happiness very good very good okay right they feel relaxed so uh, next first is why do they why do they continue to use the drug next to escape the problems a lot of people feel mere liye bahut stressful hai yaar i can't deal with this anymore chalo escape it abhi thoda sa le lete hain fir theek ho jayega ah right resistance and tolerance increase with the use of drugs very good next to celebrate chalo exam khatam aaj party karte hain party karne ke liye humko to celebrate karna hi hai so the number of times you will party is not less right so every party and every time if you keep on celebrating then it's it's going to be no surprise if you end up with an addiction okay next relieve boredom or stress like uh, somebody said yes some somebody said that that's the only thing which they think supports them very good next okay social or experimental use they continue in view of that socially hum log roz nahi peete bas socially kabhi kabhi socially kabhi kabhi this is the social use which then becomes quite you know repetitive next okay genetic factors so uh, when they start start karna alag baat hoti hai continue karna alag baat hoti hai not everybody who starts continues okay so many times people jinke family mein koi use karta hai jiske ghar mein koi use karta hai there is a genetic history so if they start even once no the chances of them repeating it are more because the effect that they feel is much more than other people so genetic factors are very important next psychological factors like i said ki tu daru pee ke bhangra karta to you are the life of the party to tu do peg le leta hai to we enjoy the most okay you take one joint and you become the coolest person so this disinhibition they become disinhibited they get social acceptance and they want to continue that acceptance kisko nahi pasand next environmental factors like your peers if your peers continuously use ye bhi le raha ye bhi le raha ye bhi le raha ye bhi le raha tu ki what man out tu bhi le le so so that is the thing that pressures you to use it next so first you take the drink then the drink takes you please please do not let it take you 
next yes yes now this is important and uh, this is important for you all to understand that how it goes it always starts with an experimental use it will move to occasional use it will go to regular use and then there will be dependence or addiction okay some uh, some young people question me ki aapko kaise pata hai aise hi hoga लाइक like, हम तो एक दो बार एक्सपेरिमेंट करते हैं कभी कभी सोशली लेते फिर हम छोड़ सकते हैं हमारा ऐसे नहीं है हम रेगुलरली नहीं लेंगे ओके सो जस्ट टू गिव यू वेरी स्मॉल एग्जांपल हाउ मेनी ऑफ यू ऑल ट्रैवल बाय द वेस्टर्न रेलवे नॉट राइट नाउ बट यूज टू सो आई एम अज्यूमिंग अ लॉर्ड ऑफ देम सो वेन यू सिट एट बोरिवली एंड यू टेक अ फास्ट ट्रेन एट बोरिवली द नेक्स्ट स्टॉप इज गोइंग टू बी and the re and the stop after that is going to be bandra and the stop uh, stop after that is going to be dadar so once agar aapki gaadi chal rahi hai aur aap gaadi mein ho to eventually you are going to reach your destination which is a church gate unless you get down from it so this is a known pattern aap ek bar experimentation pe aate hai aap ek bar burivli mein rehte hai aur aap aage chalte hi jaoge with the use with the use of the drug and you don't stop it you are bound to go to irregular use you are bound to go to regular use after that and then dependence unless you stop yourself so that is that is what is the difference that they say you don't know but this is a studied pattern aap continue karoge to aap bhi pahunch hi jaoge aapke uh, destination and this is not the type of career that i hope any of you all aspire to have or any of you all seek to have okay next yes yes so this is a usual drug courier that is uh, gateway drugs that nobody nobody uh, at least nobody that i have met with or i have spoken to have directly started with heroin ki ek din so rahe the dusre din uthe aur peer pressure mein heroin le liya no it never happens that way they will always go from the smaller drugs to the more harder drugs the softer to the more harder drugs mostly they start with alcohol tobacco move on to weed hashish charas then to heroin and to other forms so also there is uh, there are some of them who tell me ki uh, wo to addict hai hum log to thoda bahut ek do lete hai so uh, the only thing that is different between him and you is probably he is reached bandra and you are still at andheri but if you follow the same path you may end up reaching the same place that he is at okay so this is uh, everybody mostly goes from softer drugs to harder drugs so don't think that mera control itna acha hai to main ye smoking pe hi band kar sakta hu i will not move on to anything else okay next yes why is it important to discuss about drugs in students and youth and why are we having this kind of a uh, session or this kind of a uh, interaction now why is it important okay yes yes what else why why do you all think it is important for us to discuss about this awareness very good why awareness in this group only prevention very good but why prevention in this group only okay prevention is better than cure very good what else why why are we so careful for the future generations very good why are we so careful with young adults i i, I love working with young adults and you know i uh, really like talking about this topic also but what is the main importance the next next slide please yes they are more vulnerable than adults anybody between the age of 18 to 25 is much much more vulnerable than an adult to uh, due to drastic change in lifestyle we are bound to do this okay okay so yeah so there is half or no knowledge about the substance that they are using because uh, uh, some some teenagers tell me that uh, uh, ma'am hum iske sath ye mix karte hai na to uh, kuch nahi hota hai wo sirf waise lete hai to kuch hota hai iske sath thoda thoda ye kar lete so this kind of a thing where in your mixing uh, depressants and stimulants and hallucinogens just randomly there is no knowledge about the thing or at the best there is a half knowledge owing to the net so that causes more harms that is more dangerous as compared to what you are taking 
you don't know what you're taking you have half knowledge about the product you half knowledge about how it's going to do so that is the reason why it's important to let them know peer pressure normalization of the drug use like i said sab le rahe to main kyu odd man out banu main bhi ghus jata hu usme yeah somebody also said here the impulsivity and the novelty seeking part of it that you know we are that uh, garam khun is the term that's used which is very good and uh, i love young adults but then uh, we also tend to be younger people tend to be very impulsive very novelty seeking ki bas karna hai to karna hai naya kuch try karna hai alag kuch karna hai that apart the brain the the, the main part is the brain which is uh, still being developed okay it's not completely developed these years like the teenage to the 25 takka year your brain functions expand even more so if there is any insult to the brain at this stage it is generally more long lasting we've seen young adults who uh, you know used to top their classes do extremely well good in extra curricular but exposure to drugs and at that point of time insult to the brain causes a lot of problems later on in their career okay next yes earlier you use the more number of risks you are exposed to you increase your drug career by 40 years for 50 years and what you increase your drug career that is the problem it affects your academic learning and life lesson learning and everything and of course uh, now there is easy availability of drugs and there's a constant need for stimulation nobody would just like to sit and stare outside the window or look at the trees or do something like that there's a constant need for stimulation abhi main kya karu social media pe ye karu ki wo karu इंस्टा पे नया पोस्ट डालू एफ बी पे ये करूँ ट्विटर पे कुछ डालू की लेट मी डू समथिंग एल्स लेट मी स्मोक अप फॉर क्रिएटिविटी और वट एवर वट एवर सो दैट इज द नीड फॉर स्टिम्युलेशन विच इज पुशिंग यंगर अडल्ट टूवर्ड्स ड्रग्स मोर एंड मोर नेक्स्ट सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हु गेट्स इट हाउ दे गेट इट वाई दे गेट इट एंड एवरीथिंग सो नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट यस यस वॉट इज दिस दिस this kida kida jaise that you all can see can anybody guess what is that okay okay yes yes it's it's a type of a bacteria that's right that's right it's a type of a bacteria it's actually the tb bacteria so uh, the purpose of this picture is to make you all understand that uh, you know the agent the agent is the substance so like the tb bacteria acts on the lungs and causes tb or if you have to take a very recent example covid covid also majorly affects the lungs so it also affects other parts but it majorly affects the lungs similarly the drug is the agent which mainly affects the brain okay next yes host so who uh, who suffers from tb or who suffers from covid people who don't wear a mask people who don't maintain social distancing people who don't maintain adequate sanitation and sterilization they uh, suffer from covid okay and those who have low immunity obviously so similarly not everybody like now not everybody who's exposed to covid will get covid similarly uh, not everybody who is exposed to drugs will uh, go into addiction but who is more vulnerable next people who have a genetic history if there's somebody in your family even your uncles aunts anybody in the family who already has a problem with a substance then chances of you also getting the substance are high also getting into the substance is high next next please yes the next is personality traits next slide please personality traits are the type of a personality that you have so uh, impulsivity novelty seeking very depressive kind of a personality uh, angry uh, upset kind of a person so they are the people who are more vulnerable next slide please dr arjun next slide please environmental factor slide is there yes i cannot see it i cannot see the slide okay so then next we move on to environmental factors what are the environmental factors that you think uh cause problems 
like TB, something which is there in a more unsanitary, unhygienic environment. Similarly, environmental factors for substance use or drug abuse are uh, peers. Obviously, you go to a party and you have 10 people drinking and they'll be like, Ek to le le, aadha to le le. Nahin? Or they will be like, Ek thoda sa to le le, do chamach to le le, ek sip to le le. So the friends, the friends part of it. Uh, the wine shop per se acts as a stimulus for so many people. Then you have your role models. Ye bhi leta, ye bhi leta, ye bhi leta, to mein kyun nahi loon? He takes it and he's such a great actor. He takes it and he has so much of money. So there must be something in it, right? So imitation of your role models also act as an environmental factor. Next. Next slide, please. Uh, Dr. Arjun, can you please put on the next slide? Yes, ma'am. Yes. It's okay. Yes, I can see it now. What are the effects of drug use uh, apart from the ones that we've just discussed? Do you think it only affects your physical health and your psychological health? What else are the effects of drug use? Okay, I'm getting some answers here. Okay, family issues, very good. Very good, what else? Okay, okay. So next, right, personal relationships, very good. Crying, very good. Loss of career, good, very nice. Next, okay. Next slide, please. So the effects of drug abuse are multifold. Okay, physical effects psychological effects, uh, occupational effects, your social effects, you know, your economic effects, legal effects. So it's multifold. So, yes. Okay. Okay. Next. Yeah. So physically, uh, the problems we've already discussed that what are the physical problems of drug abuse? Okay. So there can be a paralysis like with this lady tingling, numbness, this is the spare me hut is what it's called, difficulty in walking, balance problems, liver-related issues. Next, it can affect your heart, heart-related problems. It also, right, stroke, mental confusion, very good. Uh, it can also just change your appearance completely, like it can take away years from your face. It, it makes you look like an aged person. So next, please. Yeah. So that is the physical effects of it. Okay. Next, we next we go on to this brain damage. Very good. Next, we go to the psychological effects of uh, drug abuse. So what are the psychological effects that you all are aware of? And I can see that you already know a lot about it. Good. Very good. Yes, there is anxiety. There is depression. There is uh, irritability. Next, next. Irritability. Anger outbursts, there are, you know, suicidal ideas, panic attacks, very good. Panic attacks are very, very common with weed, very, very common with cannabis use, especially with first timers, they will have a lot of panic attacks and it is almost similar to having a heart attack for them. So they rush to the doctor, low motivation, very good. Next, yes, uh, Dr. Arjun, next, please. Okay. Suicides as well, suicidal ideas as well. There is panic, low self-esteem, helplessness, like I've already discussed. Next. Next, please. Yes. Okay. Next. Yes. Right. Poor mental health and chronic depression and anxiety related. Sometimes some of the drugs can cause psychosis also. Uh, next, please. Yeah. You can see things which are not there. There are hallucinations, auditory as well as visual hallucinations. They are the psychological effects. Next. Uh, Self-esteem is, uh, somebody has asked a question. Self-esteem means, self-esteem is how you feel about yourself. Ki main kitna kar sakta hun, mere mein kitna, like, what can I do? So low self-esteem means you feel, I'm just worthless. Mere se kuch nahi hoga. 
मैं कुछ भी करने के लायक नहीं हूं आई एम नॉट एबल टू डू दिस आई एम अ लूजर सो लो सेल्फ एस्टीम कॉन्स्टेंटली डाउटिंग योर सेल्फ पीपल विद लो एस्टीम टेक ड्रग्स टू बूस्ट देम सेल्फ बट दैट इज ओनली वेरी टेम्पोरेरी दैट सेम थिंग विल कीप ऑन एंटरिंग देम इन टू अ साइकिल ओके या सो दीज आर यस यस सो दीज आर ऑल्सो साइकोलॉजिकल इफेक्ट ओके illusions you see illusions you see different things you see scary things that make you fearful there is memory loss which is the center picture and memory disturbances forgetfulness unable to remember simple things and the last is hallucinations like seeing things which are not there hearing things which are not there next occupational effects yes what are the occupational effects if you're behind the drug all the time definitely you won't be able to study definitely you'll have difficulties in your career you won't be able to finish your projects your assignments and everything the social effects of the drugs are next please yes yes broken families a lot of families are disturbed because of drug abuse uh, continuous use of the drug frequent fights with be between family members effects on children difficulty in giving money for children to the family household separations so broken families it affect if it affects children a lot disturbed relations with friends you get irritable angry at the drop of a hat your relations with your friends your girlfriends boyfriends or you know everybody gets disturbed next loss of repetition you called names ye to junky hai ye to hamesha high rehta hai ये क्या करेगा ये तो चर्सी है दीज आर नेम्स दैट आर कॉल्ड सो इट दिस इज समथिंग दैट कैन अगेन लीड टू लो सेल्फ एस्टीम यू नो बीइंग कॉल्ड आउट नेम्स बीइंग नॉट आइडेंटिफाइड फॉर व्हाट यू आर एंड इवेंचुअली इट लीड्स टू सोशल स्टिग्मा पीपल जस्ट ऑलवेज लेबल यू समथिंग एंड यू डोंट वॉन्ट टू बी डन दैट नेक्स्ट इकोनॉमिक इफेक्ट राइट सो productivity at workplace suffers you're not able to work you're not able to study those who are working end up losing their jobs next yes financial burdens because whatever money is on is spent behind the drug is spent behind gaining something from the drug and when you have to take treatment for addiction the costs are humongous next corruption okay yes so these are the economic effects legally how does it affect yes road traffic accidents when you drink and drive you become very disinhibited your reflexes are slowed when you get high on anything your reflexes are slowed you cannot uh, you know use uh, uh, you cannot drive properly you cannot see properly you cannot apply your brakes on time so there are a lot of road traffic accidents drunken driving domestic violence domestic violence leads to police cases you require money you're not going to get it for the substance people resort to crimes so criminal activity and also aggression and violence in general which is seen you know, over a period of time so a long term period of time there's aggression and violence next yes what can we do to prevent this next please okay so um yes Till here, anybody has any doubts or anything? Okay, so then I'll move ahead. Okay, so coping skills. What are coping skills? Next. Hmm. Next, please. Next, please. Yes. So, what are coping skills according to y'all? Hmm. Right, right. It's the ability to deal with something. That's right. How to stay away. Right. So we are talking about coping skills now because it's mainly in response to how to say no to drugs, how to say no to any drug. So many times it is said that people are unable to cope with the situation. Unable to cope with the situation, you give up, and then you lead to any, and it leads to any kind of a drug use. so it's a conscious effort to manage a situation anything personal professional interpersonal anything so coping skills can be positive or negative 
a negative coping skills are taking the substance drug use is a negative coping skill we have to shift from a negative coping skill to a more positive coping skill so how to deal with the problem how to develop more positive coping skills next okay good so uh, right various coping skills that students need to learn per se one is your problem solving ability next dealing with negative emotions drug refusal and stress management so uh, next please yes yes so kya hota when you have a problem many people say problem hai problem se escape karna hai so let us use this for some time is the problem going to disappear after that no right the problem is still there if i have a horrible thing in front of my eyes and if i close my eyes it's momentarily not there but the thing doesn't disappear similarly taking the drug will momentarily numb you because it makes your brain dull but the problem is not going to disappear you will still have to come out of it you will still have to face the highs lows be out of it and deal with the problem yourself only so that's how it is so uh, how to deal with the problem is the main situation you identify the problem first mera problem kya hai pehle ye to samjho mera problem samajhne ke badle mein if i start using drugs to ye problem to solve nahi hua aur do problem aa gaye sath mein so identify the problem first brainstorm alternatives ye problem ka main kya 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 solution kar sakta hu evaluate is this doable is this under my control can i go ahead with this or that and then you implement the best solution okay and one is once it's done you know whether the problem has been solved then good for you no then enter the cycle and do it again so approaching the problem rationally rather than you know going and seeking help elsewhere is the main thing next yes again the same thing do you have a problem no then no worry and yes then do something that you can do about it okay next yes 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 so uh, with a lot of young adults that i have interacted with a lot of them tell me this ki uh, hum frustrated the isliye humne liya hum frustrated the humne drugs liya aur we became relaxed hum bored the humne drugs le liya fir hum thode occupy ho gaye hum bahut uh, anxious the aur humne drugs liya fir hum calm ho gaye so there are a lot of negative feelings you have to understand your feeling first whether you are frustrated angry sad tensed hopeless irritable what is it okay and you don't if you see drugs as a resort then you have to work on newer activities okay some people feel that anxiety hai deep breathing karte hain some kind of a relaxation exercise karte hain they do feel calm Uh, some people feel that bored hai and they sweat it out gym karte hain to they feel little occupied some people are irritable they work out they run and then they feel oh they feel relaxed so find the activity that works for you you have to replace the substance use with newer activities drugs is not the answer for your negative emotion anxiety mein drugs lenge calm rahenge moment ke liye calm rahenge but with, after an hour you are still going to be anxious So your anxiety is essentially the same. You've just wasted your body and you've just wasted your money. Okay, next. Yes, drug refusal skill. How do you say no to drugs? Mm, what What do you all think? How do you say no to drugs? Okay, this is one thing that has come up. But please hold on. I want to hear answers from the audience. How do you refuse drugs? How do you say no? how do you say no to anything the problem uh, currently that people face is the inability to say no hum na bolenge to usko bura lagega hum na bolenge to hamari dosti toot jayegi hum na bolenge to usko lagega that we are not friends anymore if i say no he'll go and uh, speak ill about me how do we say no okay somebody said just say no and walk away okay what else what else okay good good some people are saying ignore very good ignoring is also another thing if it works out for you not care what others think very good very good what else that's right do what you have to do that's right but how do you say no to drugs yes 
yes very good you should remember what causes it has for you and refuse to do it very good so many times this is a problem that uh, okay somebody has said there is some kind of treatment for saying no to drugs okay please let me also know yeah d addiction helpline good good but at the moment when your friend is offering and you have to say no nahi lena hai how do you deal with it first is a very simple reason say no thanks and walk away no very good explain the harmful effects next please yes yes you have to be ready with a reason fact factor and excuse tujhe pata hai smoking se us mein one in five people die tujhe pata hai alcohol affect male uh, alcohol affects male and female differently i don't want to do it for that reason so it's a fact you give a reason nahi yaar padhna hai i will not be able to deal with it you give an excuse mummy ko pata chalega fir how much ever a chicken that you are it's okay parents will throw me out of the house it's okay you have to be ready with your excuse it is your excuse change the subject are ye chhodna uske bare mein baat karte hain change the subject next you can use humor if it works for you if you are funny enough next act like a broken record if you have no option please resort to this nahi main nahi kar sakta nahi main nahi kar sakta please leave me alone i can't do it you say no for a 10 times the 11th time the person will leave you alone that's that's how it generally works you cold shoulder or ignore that person i don't care just ignore that person next yes common rationalizations start next please yes yes so a lot of people do ask me this i can't get addicted by one try right ek try se kya hota hai ek bar karne se kya hota hai so for some substances they have very severe craving like cocaine and opioids and nicotine also once you take the craving will occur ek try se aap addicted nahi honge but you are increasing your risk multifold ek bar try karna hi zaruri hai it's about putting that put in the door you just have to enter once you enter you will be sucked in so ek bar try karne se bhi bahut nuksan hota hai okay next yes again no harm in trying just once ye aapka opinion hai if you think there's no harm in trying once then i don't agree to it ek bar aapko pata chal gaya ki usko use karke aise hota hai you're going to go ahead and deal with it again and again and again next next yes everything should be tried once in life this is a thing that everybody says ek bar to sab kuch try karna hi chahiye but that's your personal opinion does it mean that ek bar sab try karna chahiye ek bar sabko covid hona hi chahiye it's not like that there are some things which if not tried even once in life is okay there is uh, there is no harm to it okay but you should be aware of the risks of what you were using next everyone is doing it so it must be safe सब लोग कुएं में कूद रहे तो मैं भी कर सकता हूँ दर इज नॉट गोइंग टू बी अ प्रॉब्लम फॉर मी बट हाउ डू यू नो दैट इट इज सेफ ट्रस्ट मी वेन आई से दिस दैट नो बडी इज यूजिंग ड्रग्स सेफली देर इज नो सेफ यूजेज ऑफ ड्रग्स इवन दो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द कंटेक्स द क्वान्टिटी योर मेंटल हेल्थ स्टेटस देर आर टू मेनी फैक्टर्स नेक्स्ट यस आई कैन कंट्रोल माई सेल्फ सो आई विल नेवर बी अडिक्टेड राइट आई हैव पेशेंट्स हु कम इन टू मी uh they consume around two full bottles of alcohol but at the end of it they say doctor sahab main apne aap ko bahut acche se control karta hu mera will power bahut strong hai so i am not addicted main apne aap ko control kar sakta hu so this control you're taking two bottles if you can control if your will power is so high why are you not stopping it now okay so the reason is i want you to understand this control is a myth ये कंट्रोल आपके हाथ से जब छूटते जाएगा आपको पता भी नहीं चलेगा बिकॉज दैट इज वेन यू मूव फ्रॉम एक्सपेरिमेंटल यूज टू ओकेशनल यूज टू सोशल यूज टू रेगुलर यूज टू डिपेंडेंस तो योर कंट्रोल विल कीप ऑन बिकमिंग लेसर एंड लेसर एंड लेसर एंड देन यू विल बिकम डिपेंडेंट सो जैसे कि वो अडिक्ट है बट मैं तो मेरे आप, अपने आप को अच्छे से कंट्रोल करता हूँ यू डोंट नो ही इज टू स्टेप हेड ऑफ यू यू बिहाइंड If you continue, you'll reach there. So the control is a myth. Don't ever think that my control is so good, my will power is so good. If it's good, then stop yourself from getting into it in the first place itself. Okay. Again, there is no party without getting high. 
सेलिब्रेशन है इसका बर्थडे है इसका एनिवर्सरी है शी स्टार्ट डेटिंग अ न्यू पर्सन चलो लेट्स पार्टी एंड देर इज नो पार्टी विदाउट गेटिंग हाई इट्स अ मैटर ऑफ ओपिनियन दैट इज योर ओपिनियन इफ यू मोनो हैव फन यू कैन हैव फन विदाउट गेटिंग हाई ऑल्सो नेक्स्ट yes stress management next please what is stress stress is what is stress yeah everybody says mujhe bahut stress hai main is cheez ka stress leta hu mujhe stress bardash nahi hota what is the stress okay cortisol very good next unable to deal very good yes next please next please next please yes 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 so stress is your brain's response to anything anything so everybody has stress it's a threat response very good uh stress is important here because it has a very very important role in starting drugs continuing their use and getting back to drugs again and again so to deal with stress is of utmost importance and i'm sure you just don't need to talk to me to deal with this stress there are multiple things available but some of the very tried and tested and very cliche techniques are here next please next yes relaxation deep breathing it has been found that a lot of anxiety general anxiety uh, is relieved with relaxation techniques and deep breathing so many people who have anxiety if you resort to this At least, आपकी stress dealing ability better होगी So what? Uh, also, this another important thing that I would like to tell you is, we have no control over the stress. Exam का stress है, breakup का stress है, mummy का stress है, घर का stress है, कुछ भी है. You cannot control the level of the stress the environment puts on you. So we we will not try to manage it. We can only deal with our stress bearing ability. आपको अपनी stress bearing ability को बढ़ाना है. okay you cannot control that stress but you can at least improve your dealing abilities and that's what you have to work on relaxation meditation on a daily basis will give you better stress bearing abilities you have to manage your physical health exercise eat right adequate sleep next time management that's right i am sure hundreds of people would have told you this please do a to do list what has to be done and you manage your time better next plan your days in advance make a list of things divide them as important or urgent important but not urgent not important not urgent that you get you get the idea that you divide your tasks and deal with it as appropriate next please yes express your emotions appropriately at the right time at the right to the right person and to the right degree if you had a breakup you cannot go and take an entire bottle and start drinking and cry to your friend what is he going to do with it okay you need to either approach your the person you've broken up with ask them what went wrong tell them how you're feeling and deal with it in a rightful manner or you talk to your to a friend about it or you talk to a therapist if there is nobody but express your emotions appropriately and don't resort to any other kind of a chemical substance to make you feel all right next reframe the situation a positive thinking i could come out of it it could have been worse next what will somebody say in this situation solving it what can i do problem solving next next learning the skills to say no like we discussed lifestyle changes spend time with family relook your priorities learn new skills and stay away from negative people these are just minor things that you can bring about as changes in your uh, life next yes. so in spite of this you get into drugs and in spite, you know a family member who is having an issue with drugs or a friend then what should you do next so when you do not have to approach them when they are intoxicated or having withdrawals when they are high or when they are at their lows next you have to be calm you have to be sober no advice no gyan no pravachan talk to them when they're in a better place when they're in a better frame of mind or help them seek help take them to a mental health professional who can help them deal better next next please next next okay 
so uh, we're not going to talk at length about treatment or anything but i just want you all to be aware of what are the treatment modalities available for you all start next please so uh, many times uh, we have to treat addiction it's a medical illness it has to be treated like a medical illness you have to deal with the craving you have to deal with the withdrawal features next there is psychotherapy and counseling for it next more, these are the types of counseling techniques and then there is occupational therapy so in case uh, you all feel that you need to seek help and you feel you don't want medicines but uh, you still feel the help need to approach or seek help then please seek counseling you know it is something that would at least help you gain perspective next next okay so i think we've almost come to an end please get high on drug on grades not on drugs so uh, that's it i think i will finish my presentation here thank you so much and uh, we are open for questions ma'am we got some questions okay there is a question saying is weed a herbal drug okay so weed is not a herbal drug weed is a uh, marijuana which is a form of cannabis so cannabis like we had said is a uh, is not a herbal drug it's it's not a herbal form or it's not herbal in any manner yes it's derived from a tree if you say it's herbal in that way but it does not have any herbal or any med or any herbal properties that way okay there is another question how do we get out of internet addiction yes so internet addiction also uh, involves the skills wherein you say no okay so uh, in terms of internet addiction there is very uh, there is an importance for you to manage your time accordingly if you schedule your time is uh, if you uh, give time appropriately if you see that uh, your usage has to be restricted to some time then probably it can help you with the internet addiction the main thing is scheduling if you don't schedule in advance you will end up whiling away time on the internet so you have to schedule your day in advance if it's 2 hours in the morning that you will be requiring the internet probably 2 uh, to 3 hours after that you will spend time with family or do some physical activity you will spend time reading you will spend time studying and then sometime in the evening again for the net so if you ration your use you will be able to deal with the internet addiction but again here we are talking about how severe it is if it is severe then it's going to require help in the form of therapy but if you feel that it's more then at least start by scheduling your time and learning the skill to say no uh, think of the internet as just another friend whom you have to say no to say no turn a cold shoulder ignore and deal with it later uh yeah i'm getting some questions here uh is charas formed with weed yes charas is the resinous extract of uh cannabis so the cannabis is a plant cannabis sativa is a plant every uh, item of the plant is used for a drug so uh, charas is also called as hashish and it's the resinous extract of the plant so it is a more concentrated form whereas weed is the is the dried leaves which is also called as uh, ganja the dried flowering tops and bhang is the dried leaves of it so the same plant produces different drugs uh next is a question which says should we do drugs on occasional days or not that's like your personal opinion <laughs> what am i going to say to it i have said an entire 45 minutes and now it is your call whether you have to do it on occasional days or no but please remember experimental use leads to occasional use social use regular use and then dependence uh some of the countries have started legalizing marijuana what are your thoughts on it yes i was expecting this question so uh the legality of the drug uh, does not de depend on its harmful effects or its safe effects in this country even 
alcohol is legal okay so the legalization of the drug does not benefit the common people it is something that is done in terms of policies so uh, most countries in the us have legalized it but looking at it in our country legalizing of the drug is going to make it so widely available and cannabis is one of the drugs which at least i personally have seen multiple people who end up with panic attacks and psychosis because of cannabis use so in my opinion we really need to be wary of it uh ma'am opinion on psychedelics okay psychedelics is yes uh the hallucinogens that we were talking about opinion as in what do you want me to talk about it it is it is a hallucinogen it is something that ends up causing a bad trip lsd if you've seen the movie sanju then there's that small paper that he keeps on his tongue or he keeps in his mouth and then he starts seeing things differently so um, that is what it is but lsd uh, gives a very 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 bad effect after the withdrawal part of it people have ended up fearful afraid scary injured themselves they have harmed themselves when they've been on that trip so that is really really uh, one drug to be very wary of uh, how do we get people out of shopping addiction uh, this is uh, also a good thing to ask where is uh, so the thing with shopping addiction is uh, compulsive shopping is the problem and it's very difficult to understand when it is compulsive when it is not compulsive so uh, still because you've asked me as a joke i'll still tell you two to three items which you can do to get out of shopping addiction one is please take somebody along because when people go alone they shop like anything avoid shopping online as much as possible please don't use credit cards the more you use a credit card there is no limit to the shopping carry cash and ration your use uh, make lists before going to shopping don't go shopping with an open mind then you will end up taking everything that you see so i hope uh, dr sanjay your question of shopping is answered a bit uh their positive <laughs> yes, ma'am the recent positive impact impact mm. Mm. bad trip is uh, isn't bad trip a very rare case if done in the right setting uh mostly uh, first time users end up with a bad trip only because they are already very fearful at the start of it and a uh, bad trip is not rare it's not at all rare because i have myself seen multiple people with bad trips uh, landing up in the opd not even anywhere else in the opd they've come to seek help yes uh, any other questions uh, dr sanjay gaming addiction, as of i can see gaming addiction yes yes it is in the same manner as you deal with an internet addiction and uh, i can also see magic mushrooms somebody has asked about magic mushrooms so uh, most of this mushrooms are not really available here not really freely available here it is something that is more done in the us magic mushrooms also have a more psychedelic kind of a property uh, hallucinations visual hallucinations uh, a different kind of a feeling but most of these things which give a very temporary euphoric feeling on the longer term they end up changing the structure of your brain they end up changing the functioning of your brain and there are a lot of chemical problems that do happen because of it uh any other questions i cannot see any more ma'am as of now there are no questions uh, uh, i can uh, see one more question that when somebody is addicted to weed and charas and they decide to quit it they get panic attack but because of this so how can they quit this habit without getting affected with panic attacks and on okay so uh, your question is an answer to itself so when somebody is addicted to weeds and charas it means they have reached a stage which is beyond regular irregular use or social use it is almost regular use when they try to quit it they will get a panic attack 101% some of them get panic attacks even after trying it so that is the thing with weed the effect that it has is very uh, very unpredictable some people take to it uh, in an alright manner some people have a very bad experience with it so uh, when uh, they get a panic attack 
यू विल हैव टू ट्राई रिलैक्सेशन और डीप ब्रीदिंग टेक्निक्स टू हेल्प यू विद पैनिक बट बट इफ यू स्टार्टेड टू गेट पैनिक अटैक्स एंड एंगजाइटी अटैक्स माई एडवाइस वुड बी दैट प्लीज प्लीज सीक हेल्प दिस इज नॉट समथिंग दैट कैन बी डेल्ट विथ एट एन इंडिविजुअल लेवल और विद द हेल्प ऑफ फ्रेंड्स और विद समथिंग एल्स सो अ मोर अप्रोप्रिएट थिंग वुड बी टू सीक अ काउंसिलर इन द कॉलेज और टू सीक प्रोफेशनल हेल्प दैट वुड बी माई जेन्यून एडवाइस uh one more question is about ketamine therapy yes what about ketamine therapy what is the question about ketamine therapies i want to ask uh, do you want to know what is ketamine therapy is it good okay ketamine therapy is a treatment it is it is a treatment modality it's like saying uh, is do, is paracetamol good yes paracetamol is good if you have a headache so ketamine therapy is good if you have a major depression that warrants it you don't have to take something just like that no so ketamine as a drug is used uh, as an anesthetic it is used in hospitals to provide anesthesia okay so uh, when people come out of ketamine also they have uh, a little bit of a dissociative feeling they don't understand they feel very different on coming out of the anesthesia so there were some people who used to abuse ketamine this is like painkiller opioids if it is given under supervision given medically taken in the right amount right quantity it is good but ketamine just being available on the street and you taking it is definitely going to cause you the side effects of it no i am very happy you all are asking questions and i want you all to ask more questions because uh, that is the reason that we are here and i would rather you ask me than get half or no knowledge from the internet so uh, ketamine now is used i myself work with ketamine a lot many people who are very severely depressed not uh, improving with medications not improving with therapy ketamine therapy is used as a resort for severe depression so uh, it is an antidepressant in that manner yes any more questions ma'am ma uh, it seems there are no more questions sure uh, i invite vipul sir vipul sir are you there yes yes yeah ma uh, sir please go ahead with the vote thanks Yes, hello everyone. Um, this is Vipul Burai, and um, on behalf of the management, trustee, principal, my teacher colleagues, and my dear students, I take this opportunity to extend the vote of thanks for this particular session, Punya Ma'am, on this uh, occasion of International Abuse Drug Abuse Day. You sparing your valuable time. for my students and my teacher colleagues is absolutely appreciable uh the striking part of your session which was there for around cr was that you so effectively with so simplification and with suitable anecdotes gave the entire idea of what the drugs are all about the entire review was fantastic uh it was an eye opener as well with respect to certain concepts which we are being not known about it i'm also very sure that those young kids of ours who are of course of in the most vulnerable age group which you mentioned of 18 to 25 must have got uh, good lessons and they definitely will think of coming out of it if they have already started and definitely will say a big no even if they had a slightest idea of getting into it just for once as you had mentioned so thank you so very much for this absolutely fantastic session thank and you. we also look forward to your uh, company in the near future as well for organizing these sessions because i think this sessions has to be taken on a regular note mm -hmm. not just once a year Right. right so you know it it is a constant hammering to our youth which is the most productive age group of uh, the entire nation as a whole yeah. so i look forward to your company again ma'am so thank you very much once again thanks a lot thank you thank you so much
punya ma'am and thank you so much my teacher colleagues and even my students thank you very much thank you arjun sir can we go